Hello and welcome to Tuesday's maths lesson. So we are going to carry on with the data handling. I'm just going to share my screen with you to show you what you need to do for today's work. So today, pair data. So we're going to look at different pictograms and graphs and you're going to answer some questions on the data that's there. Before we do that, there's some mental maths questions for you to do. So I suggest you pause the screen now or in a minute and do these subtractions using the column method just to go through subtraction with you again. When you're doing subtraction, you put the biggest number at the top. So four take away nine, I cannot do. So I need to borrow from the seven, carry the 10 over to make that 14. And then I've got six tens left. 14 take away nine is five. Six take away five tens is one ten. I can't do zero take away three, so I exchange from the thousands and that becomes four and I carry that into the hundreds. Now ten take away three is seven and four take away two is two. I know you know how to do these, but just quickly went through that with you. So you can pause the video and do these five sums, or four sums, sorry, on a piece of paper. Okay, when you've done that, we'll go on with today's lesson. So just to give you an example, we've got birthdays of students by months down here, and then you can see that the numbers are going up in twos. So remember, between zero and two, you'd find one. Between six and eight, you'd find seven. So it says, how many more students had birthdays in June than in August? So you need to find June and August. So June, there were 10 children, and August, there was one. So you would have to subtract. If you're finding how many more or less of something there are, you use subtraction, don't you? And the next one says how many less people had birthdays in November than in May. So November is here. They had four. And in May, there was eight. So you do eight subtract four. You're not adding them together because that's finding the total. When you're looking to find the difference between two things, then you do a subtraction. Another question you might get is, what is the difference between the birthdays in September and March? So September, it was seven, and March, there was two. Again, it's a subtraction. When you get a word like total, what is the total amount of students that took part in this? That is adding, isn't it? So the total is all the students that took part, so you would need to add each one of these up to find the answer. So that's just looking at the wording you might come across today. Remember, more and less and finding the difference means to subtract and finding the total would mean to add. Now, you've got a question like this on your sheet. So this is a pictogram. I showed you this yesterday. So each circle represents 10 cars. So half a circle would represent five cars. Now, remember, these are the um, greater than, less than, and equal to signs. Just remember, the crocodile eats the biggest number so if you're comparing wednesday to friday wednesday look there were 10 20 and on friday there was 10 and then half is 15. so wednesday sorry 10 20 wednesday is 20 and friday is 15. so you would need to do the crocodile eating the bigger number so wednesday is the bigger number oh sorry that's a bit messy Right, Monday there was 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and on Tuesday was 10, 20, 35. So Monday was bigger number, and so on. Now, this is your sheet. I'm just going to try and make this a little bit bigger so that you can see. This is your activity that you are doing today. So your first question is a bar chart, and it's got the number of visitors and the days that they visited the museum. And then there's questions to answer, and you need to find the answers by looking in this bar chart. If you look at the side, the numbers are going up in twos. So remember, the odd numbers aren't there. You need to find them, the, like zero one two, you would find number one. So we've got standard questions that have gone through, uh, how many more, find the difference, the total. It says here, if there were three times as many visitors on Saturday as there were on Thursday, how many people visited on Saturday? So Saturday is not on there, but it's saying um, if, it was, if there were three times as many on Saturday as there was on Thursday. Well, on Thursday, there was, I'm not going to say what number it is, you need to work that out. 
and Saturday there's three times as many as that so you need to multiply it. Now on your next question it's a pictogram. This square represents four points so half a square would represent two, a quarter of a square would represent one and three quarters would represent three because you're basically splitting the square into four. And here you can see the greater than and equal to signs. So red and blue and green. So red, there is uh, 4, 8, 12, and then 2. So that's 14. And blue and green combined is 4, 8, 12. That represents 3. So that's 15. That represents 2. So that's 17. So there's 17 on this side. And then there is... Uh, 4, 8, 12, 14 on this side, and you need to put the correct sign for it. And then there's some more questions. The pink team scored half the number of points of that of the green team. So have a look what the green team scored, and then you can halve that to work out what the pink team scored. And then there's some other questions there. So Teddy is working out the difference in points between the red and the green team. So remember, find the difference means to subtract. I expect you to all do that sheet, please, today. You can have a go at the second sheet. These are more challenges, but um, it's up to you whether you do it. It says two children are asked to find out how many hours of sunshine there were all together. Keyword being all together. Each sun represents three hours. So Iceland would be three, Germany, three, six, nine, and so on. It says use Mo's method to calculate the total hours of sunshine. I can find out how many hours of sunshine each country has and then add up all the totals. So use Mo's method. But then here, Rosie said, I can count how many sunshine symbols there are all together and multiply it by three because obviously each sunshine represents three. So use her method. Here it says, the table shows a number of men and women who watch three different films. So you've got film A, B, and C, men, women, and then the total there, and then the total there. It says complete the table. Now, to be able to complete the table, you need to look, are these statements true or false? So the first thing you need to do, sorry, is to complete the table before you answer these questions. Now you'll be able to complete the table because look here, it tells you how many women and men there are. So then you should know the total because what would you need to do with those two numbers? You need to add them. Here, you've got men, sorry, women, but you don't know how many men, but you know the total. So if you know the total, you should be able to work out how many men there were. So remember to find the totals, you'd need to add but if you're looking for a missing part of the calculation, you need to do the inverse, which is to subtract. So when you're totaling something, you'd add the numbers. But if you've already got the answer, but you're missing part of the sum, then you'd use the inverse. So you need to complete that table first. If you're doing it on paper, just draw it out. Then when you've completed that, then you can answer these questions. It says more women than men watched one of the films. Film B was the most popular. So tell me, is that true or false? Then there's a bar chart here on number five. It represents the number of goals scored by four footballers. Use the clues to complete the bar chart. So if you're not doing it on the sheet, then you can do it on paper. Just draw this out roughly. And it says Thomas scored 13 fewer goals than Aisha. Well, we can't work that out yet because we don't know how many Aisha has scored. But it does say here, Aisha has scored twice as many goals as Hunan. Now, Look how many he's done. Now, if you have a look, it goes from 0 to 10. So let's see if it goes up in 1s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's not going up in 1s, so let's try 2s. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. It's going up in 2s. So if you look here, it'll be 2, 4, 6, 8. So he scored 8. So if I should have scored twice as many as that, what would she have scored? Then once you've got Aisha's, you'll be able to do Tom because it says Tom has scored 13 fewer goals than Aisha. And then it says here, Huan and Niger combined have scores of a total of 20. But if he's got eight and combined with that, that would be 20. You need to figure that out. So it's all about having a look at the information in front of you and comparing it and having a look. 
Like I said, I want all of you to do that first page for me, please. And then if you wish to have a go at the second page, then do so. And if you are stuck or need any help, you can message us on the blog. Have a good day, guys, and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye.